Hey, what's up, smashers? All right, listen, we're gonna be talking about shoulder health, and I'm gonna go one step further, not even shoulder health, um, joint centralization. So this is a big deal, and I'm looking around for my camera stand, except I got it all set up. Today, so just to give you an idea, barbell's on the floor, used it in a workout like seven minutes ago, maybe 10 minutes ago, and uh, I didn't feel like unloading it, so today, this is the barbell. That's a PVC pipe, but you can use anything. So what I'm gonna show you is basically what happens is, let's put this down so you can see what I'm talking about. We're gonna use all kinds of stuff today. So thoracic spine, just to give you an idea, aids in you losing joint centralization. So what starts to happen is, just to give you an idea of, of, of how the mechanics of the shoulder work, remember the shoulder sits in the center of the, of the glenoid uh, fossa, right? Head of the humerus sits in there. It's designed to stay central on, on a point in that joint. If it doesn't, it rolls towards, uh, there's 360 degrees of sides it can beat the snot out of. The problem is, is that when it rolls to the side, it tends to stay there, excuse me. And then there's seven uh, muscles that come from the scapula to the humerus, including the deltoid for that matter. And what they start, they start to do is they start to hold and anchor that because your brain gets a signal saying that's normal position. Your body reinforces that position. It tries to dodge the pain. And next thing you know, you got all kinds of chaotic problems in your shoulder. It's not even really a shoulder problem. So what you're, I realize right now we're looking down like this because I set the camera on the floor, but that's because I don't want to take this off. So what we're going to do is we're going to show, I'm going to show you, no, wait, there's only me here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to keep that joint centralized and restore a lot of mechanics. Now, by the way, a good friend of mine, Donnie Thompson, um, he, Thompson's fat pad, you got to look him up. If you don't follow him, give him a follow. He came up with something called a bow tie, the sickest invention ever. It's going to do exactly what I'm doing, but without any of the, uh, of the bar, the PVC or the bands, you just put it on. You don't train with it. You put it on. It helps bring the, the uh, shoulders back into position, resets that tissue. Super important. So we're going to work on bringing that back. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to undo that lat. So the lat is a prime internal rotator, just like the pecs. So those guys out there, a lot of you guys that are training, what is it? Chest and back on the same day? Yeah, don't do that. Because it's not that they're opposing muscle groups. They're really not when it comes to the shoulder because they're both internal rotators. So they chew up your shoulder super bad. So you want to undo that. Don't train them together. Um, that's really important. So we're going to unload that lat on a roll and with some distraction, I'm going to show you how to peel away that lat all the way down the entire seam in here. And then we're going to unload the shoulder and pull that back into place. Then we're going to reset the joint. And then you're good to go. It's just that simple. You got a centralized shoulder and boom, you're good to go. All right, so first things first, we're gonna get right in here. So if you can see me without me eating it this way, all right, we'll go like this. So I have a band back here. I'm gonna loop into the band. So this, if this goes sailing, by the way, it's because it's just a piece of PVC pipe. So you take the band, if I can find it back here, there it is. So we take the band, and we load up, so the band should be about shoulder height. And we look, the band is sitting around the shoulders like this. I'm gonna lean forward. So I'm pulling forward, the band is behind me. I'm gonna come back, grab the PVC. In this, or you know, ideally I would use a, um, a barbell and load some weight on it so you can't move it around because this, really unstable. But you wanna get out nice and tall. Remember the, the, uh, the bar, We'll pretend this is a bar. The bar is at about mid shoulder or mid uh, scapular height. You're gonna come up real tall and I would use a bigger band, use probably a, a one inch band to get capture a little more tissue. But you can see the band there behind me, the band is gonna drag the shoulders back into position. I want you to, to externally rotate, lock out the biceps. So this is an easy, really shitty position to be in. It's not doing a damn thing. So what I want you to do is externally rotate and lock out those shoulders and get these arms as close as possible, and then just camp out like this for how long? Two minutes. If I let go of one side, PVC's gonna go sailing, which would be funny as hell on video, by the way. So if I get stuck in this, just is what it is. All right, so that's number one. Number two, we gotta use that, which means I need to get a new camera stand. So camera stand number two is this. You didn't even see that, check that. That's, that's some slick camera skills right there. So what we do is we take the band, hammer it around the bottom. So we're gonna do basically a shoulder reset after I show you how to do the lat. So unloading the lat is actually really critical because most people don't do it. I'm losing my camera skills today. Sorry, Jess. 
All right, so we go like that. I'm gonna feel like Howard Stern where I always have regulars on the show. And uh, I think Jess Fitzgibbons is gonna be a regular because she's a badass and she's one of my best friends. So we take the band, I'm gonna grab higher on this just for the sake of the camera. So we wanna load up the band. So the band is distracting, it's loading up the, um, the shoulder with axial distraction. That's a big friggin' spider over there. I had to stomp it with my foot. So it's probably gonna rain tomorrow. Sorry for all you guys that washed your car. So I'm loading this up, but I'm externally rotating, and then I'm gonna grind back and forth ugh, all the way along, and then find those hot spots. You'll go down lower than you think, because that's where that lat goes into that thoracolumbar fascia. And then just smear back and forth all the way up into this spot that makes you want to throw up a bag of paper clips. Oh, that's so crappy. I don't want to do that anymore. That's number two. And number three is the actual reset itself. That noise you just heard was the foam roll taking a nosedive. So what we want to do is we want to load up the band into the shoulder. So you can see the band is right here, right? Twang. Band right here, loading into the shoulder. I'm going to take a dumbbell, kettlebell, it doesn't really matter what it is. This is a 30 pound and I'm going to take it and I'm going to let the band drag my shoulder superior. And so I don't want to drag it out because it'll wind up distracting and pulling off the shoulder. I'm going to wind up dragging it superior. You can use a dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell. I have a dumbbell here. I just happen to grab it. All you want to do is be an external rotation and let that arm come all the way back down. Let the band pull it out of the socket a little bit and let it slide back into the posterior aspect of the capsule. That's gonna regain a lot of centralization. Hang out here for how long? Two minutes, call it a day. That's it, that's all you gotta do. That made some sound for a steel weight, huh? Hey listen, I'm Trev, Smashworks, clearing out the shoulders today, that's all you gotta do. I will check you guys out tomorrow, boom!